Hey guys, welcome to another Munchar Review. Today I'm going to try these one bite, everybody knows the rules, uh, three meat mini pizza bagels. These are mozzarella, pepperoni, sausage, and bacon on little mini bagels. Um, 7.2 ounces or 204 grams. They are frozen. We got these at Kroger. They were $3.49 for the box. So, um, four pieces is a serving. There's eight pieces in the box. Um, 210 calories for four pieces, or if you eat the whole thing, it's 460. I thought there was... Is there only eight? I thought there were nine. I don't know. Anyway, um, so you can do this a couple different ways. You can do it in or three different ways. Conventional oven, which we don't do, but there's the directions. Toaster ovens, again, we don't do those, but there's the directions. Or the microwave. And it says for a softer bagel. We're going to remove the tray from the box and remove wrapper. Place the frozen mini bagels in the crisping tray on top of box and place in microwave oven. Cook nine bagels, that's what I thought, on high power for two and a half minutes and then let them sit for a minute or two because they're going to be hot. And after they've for if you want crisper bagels, let them sit. So, um, so yeah, two and a half minutes. That's it. So do we have a pull tab? We do. Ah, uh, nice pull tab. What you do is you pull these out. Let me drop you down here, son. Pull these out. Seal your box back up. Seal your box to where it's sturdy, where you've got a platform. And then you take these nine bagels and take the plastic off. Put on top of the box, and then you microwave for the two and a half minutes. So I'll be back once they come out. Okay, so here they are out of the microwave, and I used to take a fork and just easy stick on the bottom. So I always have to take a fork or something and um, just unstick them from the bottom. I think it's the, I don't know if it's the cheese or, or what sticks a lot. Probably the cheese. I don't know. Could just be the bagel itself. I don't know, but they always stick a little bit. So, um... Yeah, these are pretty much ready to go if they're not stuck to the bottom really bad. <laughs> you hear them popping free. Release yourself. You're free. You're free. There we go. <laughs> okay, I got them all. Um, so yeah, I'm going <laughs> to let these cool off for a minute and uh, take them over to the table and try them out. I'll be right back. I didn't let them cool for a super, super long period of time. So I got, I'm getting one that's got a little bit of everything in there, pepperoni and, and sausage, and I think it's a ham. I don't even remember now. Um, what did it say it had on it? Pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. Okay, ham, bacon, whatever. Okay, here we go. Good texture of the bagel. It's got a little firmness on the outside, like the crisp, like it's not crispy, but it's like a firmer um, texture on there. So you, it's like a skin of a piece of bread. So it's not tough, but it's got a little chew to it. Um, yeah, but the bagel itself is pretty soft. The toppings are good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, does it remind you more of a of a bagel or a soft pretzel. It kind of has a soft pretzel kind of texture. It's not quite as chewy though. Um, it's probably more like a bagel, honestly, than a, than a, um, yeah, than a soft pretzel. The toppings themselves are, are good. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I try them by themselves, they're, they're, you get a lot more flavor, like the pepperoni and the sausage. Yeah, like that sausage has a pretty decent flavor by itself but when you eat it on the bagel with everything else some of the flavor is diminished a little bit i think it's just because of the sauce um but overall it's pretty good it's, it's as good as any other uh, bagel pizza kind of bites that you can buy i think there's a couple different brands and they all taste basically the same i do like the texture of these bagels though because they're not quite as tough or as hard as some of the ones the other ones I've had. Um, these have got a nice texture. The sauce, it's got some seasoning to it. It's not a sweet sauce, so it's more of a savory sauce, which I like. I don't like a really super sweet um, pizza or spaghetti sauce. So this is a nice sauce. Um, I just wish the flavor of the meats were a little bit stronger. Um, honestly, I wish the spices were a little stronger. Um, that being said, these are good. Definitely not bad. 
I'm gonna give them like a three and a half out of five. It's a little bit above average as far as the texture and the flavors go, but it's not quite stellar because the flavors need to be stronger, but still really good. Definitely worth trying out if you see these in your area. You, you're safe to, to eat them for lunch. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And by the way, I don't get a smoky bacon flavor. We'd never know bacon was even on these, honestly.